MySmart 30 can store up to 30,000 results and benefits from zero user maintenance and automatic calibration. Position the analyzer with space at the back for ventilation and at the side to allow enough room for the cartridge door to open. Plug in the analyzer and connect the barcode reader. Switch the analyzer on using the power switch on the rear of the analyzer. Do not leave the analyzer in shutdown for longer than 24 hours as the reagent pack will be wasted. The analyzer is designed to be left switched on all the time. Do not shut down. The analyzer will display a message to inform the user of the previous shutdown condition. This can be closed to show the main screen. Look for the power cord icon at the bottom of the screen to ensure the power cable is properly connected. Also, check the analyzer is displaying the correct date as this can only be altered before a cartridge is installed. Install the paper roll in the rear of the analyzer. Place the roll in the paper holder and feed the paper into the analyzer. Press the paper feed button if required and feed the paper through the cover before closing. If there is no cartridge installed, the analyzer will display no cartridge found. Press next and next again. When prompted, scan in the new cartridge barcode and watch for the grey box turning green to indicate the cartridge has been accepted. On the new cartridge, press down the cover lock and remove the cover. Never reinstall the cartridge cover as this can lead to fluid leaking inside the analyzer. When insert cartridge and closed door appears, open the cartridge door and insert the cartridge into the analyzer with the cartridge label facing towards the front. Close the cartridge door until it clicks. The analyzer will now begin to warm up. This takes approximately 25 minutes. When complete, the calibration status of each electrode will be displayed. The iSmart 30 can be used with venous or arterial whole blood, capillary blood, serum or plasma. It uses 60 microliters of sample. Lithium heparin tubes should be used for the whole blood and plasma samples. When the analyzer is in ready status, lift the sample cover and select the animal species when prompted. The analyzer will now display, introduce sample now. If you wish to cancel out of this, simply lower the sampler cover before pressing aspirate. To continue the testing process, mix the sample and immerse the end of the probe into the tube or syringe. Be careful not to introduce air bubbles, clots or foreign substances into the analyzer when sampling. For a capillary sample, lift the sample cover up all the way and select species type when prompted. Carefully insert the capillary into the probe. Do not allow any gap between the capillary and the receptacle to avoid air being sampled with the blood. When ready, select aspirate to commence. Aspirating sample, please wait, will be displayed. When prompted, remove the sample and close the sample cover. Enter the sample number, operator ID and patient details using the keyboard or barcode reader. Analysis takes just 35 seconds. When complete, the results will be displayed and printed with species-specific reference ranges.